which choice most logically completes the text? Although military veterans make up a small portion of the total population of the United States, they occupy a significantly higher proportion of the jobs in civilian government. One possible explanation for this disproportionate representation is that military service familiarizes people with certain organizational structures that are also reflected in civilian government bureaucracy, and this familiarity thus blink. So choice A says, makes civilian government jobs especially appealing to military veterans. So this seems to be correct, because the first sentence discusses how military veterans occupy a high proportion of the job in civilian government, and the second sentence serves to explain explain the reasons for this, and they say that the military service familiarizes people with these organizational structures that are also reflected in civilian government bureaucracy, so this familiarity thus makes civilian government jobs more appealing to military veterans, because they're already familiar with the certain organizational structures used. So A seems to be correct. B alters the typical relationship between military service and subsequent career preferences. This is incorrect because subsequent career preferences here could refer to any career other than civilian government jobs, but this passage is only focused on civilian government jobs, so this is incorrect. C. Encourages non-veterans applying for civilian government jobs to consider military service instead. This is incorrect because the text does not discuss non-veterans at all, so C is incorrect. D. Increases the number of civilian government jobs that require some amount of military experience to perform. This is incorrect because the text focuses on why the um, military veterans have a high proportion of gov jobs in civilian government, not that these jobs should require m some amount of military experience. So D is incorrect. The correct answer is A.